what do we mean when we talk about the linearity of the Laplace transform? Linearity in general is a property that a function might have. It makes it easier to simplify or rearrange that function. And you know that derivatives are linear. You know, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. And that integrals are linear. The integral of a sum of two functions is the sum of the integral of each function separately. So, since the Laplace transform is defined by an integral, it's not surprising that the Laplace transform satisfies that same concept, linearity. The Laplace transform of f plus g is the integral 0 to infinity f plus g e to minus st dt. And I can separate that f e minus st and g e minus st and write two separate integrals. It's exactly as if I wrote the Laplace transform of f plus the Laplace transform of g. So the Laplace transform of f plus g is equal to the Laplace transform of f plus the Laplace transform of g. Same for any constant times f. I insert the constant times f in the definition of the Laplace transform. I remove the constant and I just have the Laplace transform of the original f. So the Laplace transform of a constant times a function is the constant times the Laplace transform of a function. Excuse my tiny cramped font here. So these two properties together say that the Laplace transform is linear. I can separate sums or differences and I can factor out constants. For example, the Laplace transform of t to the n is n factorial over Sn plus 1, but that opens the door to me taking the Laplace transform of any power of t or any combination of powers of t. The Laplace transform of 3t minus 7 is 3 times the Laplace transform of t minus 7 times the Laplace transform of 1. Those transforms are 1 factorial over, ever, uh, over s squared and 1 over s. So 3 times 1 over s squared, 3 over s squared, 7 times 1 over s, 7 over s. That's the transform of 3t minus 7. And the polynomial negative 3t squared plus 2t minus 4. I can write those as individual powers of t with the coefficients outside negative 3 times 2 factorial over s cubed, positive 2 times 1 factorial over s squared, and negative 4 times 1 over s. And I just multiply. So the Laplace transform of this parabola is negative 6 over s cubed plus 2 over s squared minus 4 over s. Linearity is a powerful weapon.